There's an old saying that goes something like this. People refuse to change until the pain of staying the same is greater than the pain of change. I believe that people love Jesus for what he's going to do for them in the next life. But I also believe that people resist Jesus and even resent Jesus when he wants them to change in this life. At the beginning of Mark 12, Jesus tells a story or a parable about servants in a vineyard who have grown wicked over time. Jesus is using this story to condemn the spiritual leaders of God's people at that time. They were not the kind of leaders that God wanted them to be, and they refused to change. And really, they resented Jesus for even asking them to change. In the parable, these servants are supposed to be working the vineyard to provide fruit to the vineyard owner. But instead of giving to the owner what is rightfully his, these servants wanted it all for themselves. So when the owner sends people to collect fruit from the vineyard, the servants in that vineyard beat the people and then send them away empty-handed. Eventually, the owner gets sick of it, and he sends his own son to collect the fruit from the vineyard. The owner believes they will respect my son, but they don't. They resist the son, and then they resent the son, and then they kill the son. In fact, this is exactly what the religious leaders of Jesus were going to do to him in his day. Instead of listening to Jesus and changing, they hated Jesus and they wanted to kill him. And eventually they do. In fact, as soon as they heard this parable, Mark tells us this in chapter 12, verse 12. He said, Then the chief priests, the teachers of the law, and the elders looked for a way to arrest him because they knew that he had spoken the parable against them. They resisted Jesus and they resented Jesus. Now, again, I know that you love Jesus for what he can do for you in the next life. But how do you feel about Jesus when he wants to change you in this life? When Jesus confronts you about being generous with your money, especially toward kingdom causes, do you give him what is rightfully his, or do you resent him and resist him, hoarding it all for yourself? As we wrap it up today, I want to encourage you to pray about this very issue. Ask Jesus to show you where you are resisting him. And when he shows you, ask him to help you grow in that area of your life. Start taking baby steps and keep on growing until you become the person that he created you to be. Don't resist the son and certainly don't resent the son of God for what he wants to do in your life. 